What's up guys, my name is Joe and in today's video I'm gonna talk about which iPhone you should buy in 2018. Before we continue, this video was sponsored by iPitaka.com. They make the world's thinnest and one of the most durable cases for your iPhones. They are made of carbon and aramid and in the box you get a tempered glass screen protector as well. Now, Pitika said that I will be getting 15 of these bad boys and I wanna give it to you guys. So, all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel and down in the description below you will see a link that goes to the registration page for this giveaway. Now, all you have to do is give your email and name so I can identify you and send you the not notification if you've won and you will be able to win a Pitaka case for your iPhone. There are 15 cases and all of the 15 people will be chosen randomly. The first seven won't have to pay anything for the cases. You will get it shipped to your door. The remaining eight people will only have to pay for shipping. So I think it's a very, very good deal. I think it's a great opportunity for someone who's looking for a very thin and durable case. I even use it on my iPhone 10. I love Pitaka. They retail for like 50 bucks. So this is a great opportunity for you to get your hands on one of these. So all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, and then check in the description below and click the link, go and register. And now let's continue with the video. So as you can see, I got some iPhones myself over here. I've collected them throughout the years. So I got the 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S, uh, 5, 6, 6S, SE, 7, and 10. I skipped a few because, uh, well, those were, those were my choices. Uh, I got iPhone 4S in black and white, but this video isn't about my phones. It's about your phones and what you should buy in 2018. And hopefully I can help you decide if you're struggling to choose. I can help you identify where your budget is and what you should buy for that budget. So let's start the video with cheapest to most expensive and the best to the greatest. So guys, let's say you are planning on buying an iPhone and you are a relatively new user. You haven't used an iPhone before. You don't have that kind of budget. You just wanna enter into the iPhone world. Then, I suggest iPhone SE or iPhone 6S. Now let me tell you why. So you're a first time adopter. You don't know what to expect. Um, you're not that kind of a big phone geek. You just want a reliable phone. You want something cheap. You want something very stable. You want something that's, that's all right. Now these are the cheapest you can buy. The iPhone SE is still available through apple.com and the iPhone 6S you can buy them at retail stores. You can buy them a lot of places. You can buy them used and they're pretty good value. Now, the iPhone SE is $345 through Apple, which is, I think, a bargain. Now, this is a smaller screen and this is a bigger screen. Four inch screen and five something, 4.7, I think. Yeah, this is a 4.7 inch screen and this is a four inch screen. So, first of all, if you're entry level iPhone user, I suggest these phones because they are easily uh, available. You can buy them very cheap. You can sell them relatively quickly. And uh, if you're thinking about the SE, this is the smallest iPhone you can buy. So the four inch screen is, to, compared to today's standards, is tiny, it's puny, it's small, but it's one of my favorite designs from Apple. Now, these two devices, iPhone SE and 6S, have the same exact internals. So they got the 4K camera, they got a really good chipset, they have motion sensors, they have a pretty darn good screen. So exactly the same internals, except the iPhone 6S has 3D touch. Now 3D touch is a, is a thing when you touch on the screen and you press really hard and you get other menu options or other options um, if you don't really wanna use that. I mean, it's, it's really unnecessary. It's sometimes someone who uses it regularly couldn't live without it. It's a different story. So I would say iPhone SE and iPhone 6S are great starting points if you're looking to go in there. Now, for, if you're thinking used, you can even get it a lot cheaper than that. So that aside, now these are the old school iPhones. Don't buy these. Don't buy 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S. Don't even buy the 5. 
5S, I'll, I'll get into 5S category in a moment. So the next step is probably you're asking, okay, SE and 6S, what about the iPhone 6? I got an iPhone 6 over here. This phone is pretty darn old. I wouldn't recommend it. It's, it's relatively slow in today's standards. Uh, it, while it still supports the newest operating system, iOS 12, it doesn't perform as well as an iPhone 6S or SE. Now these are still on par. These are still really reliable phones and will be upgraded with the newest iOS version probably next year and maybe even the year after that. Now I'm not sure about the iPhone 6 in that aspect. Now if you're comparing iPhone 6 and iPhone 6S in terms of use price, there's not much of a difference. And when you're buying used, or you're buying an iPhone, you always have to think about the resale value. So if I buy an iPhone 6S today for, I don't know, $300, in about a year, I can still sell it for around $200 maybe, if it's in good condition. So, so whenever you're buying, you're also investing because when you sell your iPhone, you will get back money from which you can buy the, the newer iPhone, so you won't have to spend as much as the price is. So um, my suggestion, stay away from the six because it lacks the internals that are needed for the future. It lacks the camera that, uh, it doesn't have 4K camera in there, doesn't have 60 FPS. Now these already do and they do it really, really good. Really good camera system and the 6S and the SE. So, so those are really good phones. The 6 doesn't really have it. Now, this, before the 6 with the 5S. Now 5S is for those people who are very, very um, conscious on, on their budget and they just want a phone, they just wanna use a phone, but they would wanna be part of the iMessage system, they would wanna save their photos to iCloud or whatever the reason is. So if you're thinking of buying an iPhone and you just want maybe iMessage, but you don't want an SE and even $355, $345 is too much for you, then go ahead and buy the 5S. Now the 5S won't get you far. It'll, you'll be able to make phone, you'll be able to do the very, very basic things. It won't be fast, but it still supports iOS 12. So if you're thinking of iPhone 5S, it's a very, very, very big maybe. So uh, I would suggest stay away from the iPhone 5S, but I mean, it's your call, SE 6S starter pack. Now, if you have a little bit more money in your pockets and you wanna spend it, after these phones come the iPhone 7, the iPhone 8, and the iPhone 10. Now, I'll put the 7 and the 10. I don't have an iPhone 8 box over here. So, what I'm about to say is, well, actually, um, you still have the iPhone 7 Plus, which is a bigger version of the iPhone 7. And there's one difference between the iPhone 7 Plus or actually two if we look at that, we look at it that way, uh, between the iPhone 7 Plus and the 7. One is obviously the screen size, it's a lot larger. But on the iPhone 7 Plus, you have two cameras, which enables you to do portrait photos. Now, if you're the photo photographer kind and you, you wanna do really, really good pictures, then you're probably not gonna buy the iPhone 7 Plus just because of the camera, because then you would be choosing probably the iPhone 8 or 10. If you're a photographer on a budget, then don't buy an iPhone just because of the camera. There are great opportunities to buy DSLRs or whatever you want. Do your photos on that. And stick with the phone for making phone calls or texting or social media. I mean, who makes phone calls today? So what I would suggest is, you're looking for the upgrade. You're looking to go a little bit deeper into the more expensive iPhones. iPhone 7, you can get around $550 through Apple, which is actually a pretty good price, considering that one of the most beautiful phones, the iPhone 7 Jet Black Edition, was, from my perspective, my own point of view, was one of the most beautiful iPhones Apple has ever made. 
Now, if you're looking towards design, then go for the iPhone 7 Jet Black. N no questions asked. I think it's a lot more beautiful than the iPhone 10 even. Uh, or iPhone 8 or whatever, go for the jet black version. But now let's see, this has an A10 Fusion chip in it, which is really fast, even in today's standards. They got a pretty nice uh, LCD screen, they got a really nice camera with stabilization, uh, but since the iPhone 8 starts at 648, or 650 or whatever, you're probably looking at a $100 difference and you get the same internals as you would get with the iPhone 10. So A11 Bionic chip, which is a lot faster, it's a lot more efficient. You're getting the same camera system that is in the iPhone 10. You're getting fast charging, you're getting uh, wireless charging, you're getting uh, glass design. It's just a better package to choose iPhone 8 over the iPhone 7. And it's only like 100 or $150 difference, so I wouldn't skip on that. Now obviously if you are on a budget, then uh, then yeah, iPhone 7 is a great phone. It'll be a great phone for like two, three years forward because it's gonna get the newest software updates. It's gonna get iOS 12, 13, 14, and even maybe 15. I mean, if we look back, iPhone 5S is still getting uh, iOS 12, which is like a five-year-old phone or six-year-old, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was 2012 or 2013 maybe, so it's like a five-year-old phone, which is absolutely fantastic, getting five years of, uh, of software updates for a phone. So this is actually a pretty good bet, but I would say don't buy the iPhone 7, buy the iPhone 8. So where are we now? Let's, uh, let's uh, go back. You wanna, you wanna go into iPhone world. You have a very tight budget. Go for iPhone SE or iPhone 6. S. I think these are good choices, low price, great value for that price, uh, getting software, software updates, uh, good quality, great design, um, it's, it's, it's good. I, it's, it's all that I can say, good. Now, I would recommend, if you're looking to go higher, to skip the iPhone 7 because of the price difference and the value you get with the 8. If we compare the 7 and the 8, there are a lot of things that we actually have to look at. Now, iPhone 7 doesn't have fast charging, iPhone 8 has fast charging. iPhone 7 doesn't have wireless charging, iPhone 8 does. iPhone 7 has an LCD screen, iPhone 8 has an LCD screen, but a better version, which is actually a lot nicer. Now, if you're looking at design, I personally think the iPhone 7 Jet Black is the most beautiful iPhone, so I, over design, I would choose iPhone 7. Uh, if we look at the camera, a lot better camera in the iPhone 8. It's the same camera that's in the iPhone 10. If we look at the inside, while the iPhone 7 has A10 Fusion chip, iPhone 8 has A1 A11 Bionic chip, the same as the iPhone 10. Very, very fast processor absolutely gorgeous, so if you're planning on doing a lot of games or whatever, I would probably do it on iPhone 8, even though iPhone 7 is still a good phone for gaming in today's standards. But if we look at the future, it's probably a lot better. Now, uh, you just decide if, if that $100, $200, $150, whatever is the difference, is worth it for you for these kind of things. If you just want a nice phone, a reliable phone, with great features, I mean, it has great features, then you can go the iPhone 7 route, but I would choose iPhone 8 if I were you. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. iPhone 10, $1,000. I think $1,000 when it launched, it wasn't really worth it. Um, only if you are obsessed with getting to the newest technology first. Um, Face ID technology, full screen, no bezels except the notch, uh, glass design, and whatever, whatever's in the iPhone 8 is in the iPhone 10, and it has the whole screen, no fingerprint sensor, which for some is actually a pretty bad loss. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the iPhone 10. I personally have an iPhone 10, and I love my iPhone 10. Uh, there are a lot of improvements to be made. There are a lot of things I think Apple will fix in the second version of the iPhone 10. 
They always say, wait out, don't buy the first version. Just like if, if we look back, iPhone 6 was a redesign from the iPhone 5 design and it looked great. A lot of people bought this phone, but iPhone 6s is a lot better than the iPhone 6. This is the second generation iPhone 6. And I think this iPhone 6 will still be a great phone in two, three years time. And iPhone 6, it's just done for it. It's, it I don't think it's, it's a quality phone today um, because of a lot of issues it had. And now if you were waiting out for the iPhone 10, didn't buy it or, or you don't know what to buy, don't buy the iPhone 10. Buy the second generation iPhone 10, which comes out this September 2018. Those are my two cents on this topic. I really hope this video somewhat helped you choose on what you want, what your um, iPhone needs are. Guys, I'm really interested on what you guys think. Please be gentle in the comments. I thank you very much for watching my video. And don't forget, until my next video, stay safe and hang loose.